Hi, this is Prios with another insane PLO hand from the King's Casino. Enjoy the insane action. And Aurora Chad asking if I'm Finton Hand. No, I'm not. I know Finton Hand. He's my fellow countryman, online grinder, Twitch, up and coming star. My name is Finton Gavin from Galway, Ireland. Delighted to be here and thank you so much for joining us. We are watching an incredible game here. It's the biggest cash game in Europe right now here in King's Ravidoff. There's a half a million euro on this table. Uh, the big loser today is Tony G. He's 120,000 behind. Game is straddled three times, making this a 100, 100, 200, 400, 800 game. Tony raised it up from the button with a double suited hand. I don't like it in a really loose game where it is super likely that the flop, where it is super likely that the flop will be multi way. You don't want to build a big pot with a small pocket pair and weak suits. If you raise, you should also always go for a pot raise and not for this tiny small raises. Most people get involved getting a good price. Now let's see a flop. And Salmon, uh, Leon, Finton, has Leon taken you for a helicopter ride yet? No. And I the flop looks like fireworks. Jetlicker has the nut flush draw and a gutter. Gus made two pair. Tony G is having bottom set and the crocodile has a wrap and top pair. I don't think he will, because uh, I, I don't like heights. <laughs> but uh, please come and visit us here in Ravidoff. It's an incredible place, guys. It's uh, the biggest poker room in Europe. And Finton Hand still in the Irish Open. No, oh, great stuff. I read recently there. Chris Dowling won the... Ch Gus now leads with his two pair. As his hand is pretty vulnerable, I like it. Chip leaders down to like about 30 odd players. Jetlika now has two options. He can call or move in. I like just calling to keep weaker draws into the pot. Gus donking into several people also is a sign of incredible strength. This is another reason for just flat calling. Is it true Tony G is banned from Russia? Yes, he is. Uh, got into a bit of a spat with one of the Russian ambassadors and apparently there's a ban on him. And Jude, I Jude Ainsworth, shout out to Jude Ainsworth, still, still in the Irish Open. Good luck to Jude. Razvadov is where we are, not Ravadov. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, pump it to Perez. We are in Razvadov on the Czech German border. It's a hour and a bit from the Prague airport. The crocodile decides to put in a race with a wrap and top pair. This is nothing I would recommend. He is overplaying his hand, as two people already showed interest in the pot. This has to be interpreted as insane strength, as they had several people left behind to act, but they still decided to enter the pot. In general, it is bad to chase a rap on a flush draw board. The flush draw is the arch enemy of the rap. It's an incredible setup here. Hotel, casino, biggest poker room in Europe, and under construction is a brand new addition. Tony makes an incredible fold. He laid down bottom set. I never saw him making a big lay down. Actually, most people are not able to fold sets, especially if no flushes or straights are possible. Don't get me wrong, I love his fold. After three people already showed strength, this is the picture book spot to lay down your set. Really good fold. Well done, Tony. Five star resort hotel. Uh, it's Hansen now has a tough decision as well. I think calling should be fine as his odds are great and 
you can never be sure if the crocodile got his hand correctly or if he is doing some bad play. Well on its way to being complete, should be complete by summer, early August I'm told. And already scheduled for October is the WSOPE. Included in the schedule of events is a 111,000 buy-in which is the little one drop. It's capped at 111 players. And already 70 players booked. And we are seeing the pots get bigger and bigger. And Crocodile here. Gus thinks so too and makes the call. With a pair of kings Gus Hansen looks like Gus has two pair kings and fives. Nicky has the nut flush draw and a good shot straight draw. And I'm pretty sure that Nicky's going to stay in this hand. It's 12,000 to call, but he's moved all in. And I'm not sure the total amount. It's 29,000 Nicky has moved all in for. And the crocodile has snap called here. He's in bad shape with his pair of kings. And he all. Meanwhile, Nicky is all in, not having much behind. Both other players decide to call. So has an up and down straight draw. He's 25% to win this hand. Here we go. 100,000 pot. The turn brings in the flush. In general, it is not a good idea to bet now in Hansen's or Crocodile's shoes, as they, got, as they would bet into an empty side pot. Clubs has come for Nicky. And there is going to be side betting. And it's gone check, check. Goes to be delighted with that. The Jack changes Gus's two pair to a bigger two pair. And Nicky is going to treble up. On the river, nothing changed. And they decide to check it down. A wise decision. Here. He's going to win 95,000 pot with the nut flush. I hope you liked the hand and also enjoyed my commentary. If that's the case, please like and or subscribe. Bye.